Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an open top tour bus. For all of your city touring needs. If you enjoy this tutorial, then please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell next to the subscription button if you haven't already. And I do also want to point out that I have a lot of bus related videos on the channel. You can find all of those in the card system description below and the top of the comment section. You can actually see most of them right here. We have a bus station, a a couple of other kinds of buses and some that you won't be able to see in this video as they are coming up. But without any further ado, let's get started. Now just before we begin building everybody, here are all of the materials that you will need to make your open top tour bus. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the bus is a 4 by 10 block area as represented by the white concrete grid that you can see on the ground. Do feel free to make the grid if you do feel as though it may help you out. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to, make sure you got that stuff, make sure you got enough room to make it, make sure you're ready and once you are we can begin. Step 1 bus builders come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid. If you've made the grid, what's tricky is that we need to on top of this front left hand corner block place a floating smooth stone slab just half or off the ground like that. And then right to that slab we have to place a grey concrete. And then six more slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a grey concrete and then another slab. You then want to extend that slab across towards you by one, two, three. And then we want to copy what we have on that opposite side over to here. So, grey concrete, six slabs, another grey concrete, and then another slab. You can then join it together on the opposite side, and then you can fill the centre of the bottom of your bus, that is going to be the base of our bus, you can fill it in using slabs. What we now want to do on the back of the build, and we want to do it on both of the back corners specifically, is we want to place five yellow concrete extending upwards. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, like that. Now, since we are on the back of the bus, what I'd recommend that you do is I'd recommend you place white concrete between the bottom pair of yellow, then black stained glass paint on top, blue concrete on top, white concrete on top, and then yellow concrete on top. So we're just building the bus. We now want to place oak signs. Now, these oak signs here in front of these top pair of white concretes would say, you know, wherever the bus is touring, you know, wherever it might be, what it's doing. So fill those in with something imagi imaginative. Perhaps we're touring the Never or, you know, Sweden, since I seem to have inadvertently... <laughs> made uh, made the bus the colours. So um, we now want to make the front of the bus a little bit. Now this is a bit different because on the front of the bus we want to place yellow concretes on the front two corners, white concretes between the yellows, ladders in front of the white concretes, and we are going to place glass on top of all of the concretes, blue concrete on top of all of the glass, and then we're going to place yellow concrete on both ends, so the left and right, white concrete in between. And then we're going to extend the yellow concretes upwards, place black glass pane on top of them, quartz slabs on top of all of that, and that will give you this sort of shape. What we're then going to do is extend just the left and right sides of the quartz slab backwards by three. So like one, two, three, and one, two, three. We'll decide whether we're going to fill the top of that in later or not. You'll see when we get to the point whether or not you'll want to. So you can see we've got a good frame of the bus made. Uh, what I'd recommend doing is extending the blue concrete portions backwards until they connect to the back of the bus. You'll see it all quite, it gels together quite nicely. It kind of like integrates through the bus. It, go, it almost goes, the colour of the blue almost like goes through the back. You want to place the white concrete on top of the blue and you'll kind of get the same sort of effect. Maybe, you, I, I don't think that I showed you what I was talking about, but you can kind of see how the uh, side colours kind of uh, meld into the back a little bit. When it comes to the top of the bus, we are going to, from the front side towards the back side, follow this simple pattern. It's dead easy. Two glass, one yellow. Two glass, 
one yellow, two glass, and you'll see it's all spaced rather evenly and rather nicely apart. So we want to do this on both sides, two glass, one yellow. And that's kind of how the windows are spread out throughout the entire bus. You will see that again in a moment. So that is a good amount of the bus made. What we're now going to do is we are going to, on the side that you would get in, so that's this side specifically. I mean, it might be different if you're in a different country, you know, but uh, we would get in a bus this side here in the UK. So that's how I'm making it. Uh, we're going to place yellow concrete here on top of the uh, front left-hand corner wheel. We're going to leave a gap, and then we're going to place an entire row of yellow extending towards the back of the bus. We're going to place a yellow concrete on the left here, and then we're pretty much going to copy what we have above. So what that works out to be is two glass, one yellow, two glass. And you can see it's very quickly remedied this side of the bus. On this side of the bus, all we're going to do is place an entire long row of yellow. We're going to copy the window patterns that we have on that side of the bus onto this side of the bus, and we're going to seal up this side otherwise. So, same windows, we're just going to seal this side up because we've got stairs, uh, like, in these positions here, and we don't want to kind of, like, have them exposed. And what we're now going to do is we will focus entirely on the outside of the bus now. So, the, these are just some finishing touches for the outside of the bus, and then we'll work our way in. For the outside of the bus, we need buttons, we need item frames, white concrete, red concrete, and that might be it because there's, there's not a massive amount of detail here. The buttons are for the wheels. The wheels are simply just going to uh, have stone buttons specifically on the outsides of them. On the front of the bus, we're going to have item frames next to the grill, which is the ladders with white concrete inside. And on the back of the bus, I just noticed one little thing we can do as well. We're going to have two item frames stacked on top of each other. Um, and these can be red concrete. So these are basically like stoplights. If you wanted to, and this is uh, completely up to you. This is a little extra thing. If you want to give the bus indicators, turn signals, then one set of those could be orange concretes if you like. But one little detail that I don't really want to miss is the fact that on the back we have the sign telling us where this bus is going. We should have it on the front as well. So we should also have these signs and again wherever the bus is going wherever you'd like it to tour um, I'm kind of in a tutorial world, but this will eventually end up in my city I have a city called stream city So it'd say something to the effect of like stream city bus tour, you know So wherever it is if you have you know uh, Slime world then you get you guys get the idea then you'd want to write that in the tour in the touring signs bus things um, what we're we going to do on the inside well for the inside first of all let's make these stairs so the stairs to get up to the second story of the bus because you can walk around up top here uh, the stairs begin here where we have this row of three yellow concrete you place one stair here one above oh whoops my bad it needs to face this way, and then one like this. So you can see it's, it's a very tightly squeezed in set of stairs, but hey, what can I say? We want to have the driver's seat. Now, the driver's seat is even more compact, really. <laughs> it's uh, the poor driver <laughs> sits like right here. Um, so you're probably going to want to just fill underneath the stairs in here just with like a, a yellow concrete or something like that. Um, the driver's going to have a lever, so perhaps that's for uh, either the gear shift or the door, however you want to imagine it. Um, we're going to have a couple of seats. We're going to have a big back seat here, just across the back of the bus, just a double seat. And then we're just going to have one more seat here, where the bus kind of like separates between the windows. Um, down here as well, we're going to need buttons, maybe paintings, and also grey carpet. And the reason for that is we're just going to kind of add a little bit of grey carpet to the bottom of the bus. So just to make it a little bit nicer, separate it a little bit. And we're just going to have a couple of buttons, and these buttons can perhaps stop the bus, um, or you could use trip by hooks or some such. Um, if you wanted to, well, I mean, a button there would be quite good, and then you could, if you wanted to, include advertisements, because I've, I've done this on all of my other buses and I like it. Um, one, a little one-by-one one paintings, that is a perfect colour palette as well. A little one-by-one one paintings, and that one is too. <laughs> Both perfect colour palettes, really. Um, just to kind of, like, show what's going on around the city or town, or wherever it is your bus may be going. 
We have to make the second floor, the actual floor. Literally the floor that we're going to be walking on. It's going to be made out of quartz slabs. So you can place quartz slabs um, exactly where you might imagine they would go. So they would go on the upper half. Let's destroy enough. Uh, on the upper half of the blue concrete that we have. So that is where the uh, the the floor would go. Um, you only have to you have to be able to walk up the stairs. That is the deal. So fill the entire second floor in and make sure that you've got enough room that you can walk up and down stairs. Um, it works out to be I think that you need like two uh, two spaces in front of the uh, in front of the quartz stairs. So. Um, all we're going to do now is grab a little bit of uh, black stained glass pane. One is going to go here, just in front of the stair so that we don't fall down. We're going to have a quartz stair here, and we're going to have a big back seat here. And, and that's all there is to it. So when it comes to the rest of, uh, rest of the bus, um, quite often you can actually get off these buses. So if you want, you can put like a little like um, that, that will notify the driver that you want to stop. And if you want, you can also put more paint in Oh no. <laughs> you can put some more paintings in the form of like advertisements and stuff up here too. So there's no reason that you, that, that you can't if you don't want to. And you could even, if you wanted to outfit like um, just the little back of the bus here, you could perhaps add a sign or a couple of signs or maybe add, this this isn't a bad idea you could add like a sign and maybe like an item frame and maybe even a map as well so um i don't know where where are maps oh there we go so obviously this is an empty map but if you wanted to fill it in you know you could uh, you could have like a sign with some maps or something like that and uh, I'm trying to think if there's actually a good space down here to kind of have this. There's not really, unfortunately, but, um, you know, that's a, that's a nice way to decorate the bus. And when I was talking about earlier, like, what do you want to do with the quartz slabs? Well, um, it comes to that when, if you've ever been on a tour bus before, I've been on a couple of them, um, like half of the top of the bus is often uh, like it's roofed. It's got a roof. So if you wanted to, you could add like a little roof to the top of the top bus, which I think actually does improve things a little bit. And then the other half is like nice and open. You can stand up and look out the windows and stuff. So I'd recommend filling in that little part of the roof. And I, I think that that really does give us like a really nice, uh, a nice tour bus. I really like that. So this is what your tour bus should look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. The tour bus has a nice open top. It's got some nice striking bright colours. I often find that most of them are yellow for some weird reason. Um, on the inside of the bus, <laughs> if we can get inside, um, we have a place for the driver. We have a couple of seats down below, advertisements, ways to stop the bus. We have a set of stairs leading us up to the second story. We have like a, a little bit of decoration in the form of like maps and advertisements, paintings and stuff. And you can kind of just like come to the top of the bus and you can kind of see what's going on, even if that is just looking at your very own modern bus station. Great view. And that's it. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to check out any more bus related builds, you can see we are gaining a stack of them behind me. You can check out the card system description below and the top of the comment section. And if you have made the last of the buses that you're going to make, then maybe you want to make some other city builds, which can also be found in the card system description below and the top of the comment section too. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.